Norman Foster is an icon. He is part of the collective culture, so I feel like I have known him forever, since I don't know when. To be honest, I cannot remember when I first heard the name London, and that happens with the name Norman Foster. Norman Foster's defining characteristic is the elegance and quality of what he does. Behind it, a lot of intensive work of imagination and a conceptual will. His impact on global architecture is recognized by everybody. And his major works are everywhere in the world and therefore his influence is widespread. In Spain he is also very well known, and in recent years his regular presence here has increased his prestige and recognition. I think the activities of the Foundation in the near future are going to follow the current approach of teaching young people about Norman Foster work, drawings, different work, and the way of doing things, his way of doing things, so that there is a continuum of what depth and aesthetics mean. This will be very useful for young people and a source of inspiration for others. At the same time, the education of young people and support for learning through various activities promise, promise to play a major role in the Foundation activities. It seems to me that the Foundation activities are a permanent act of modernization, of integration, which is necessary lesson for young people. Education is of the utmost importance for tomorrow's architects. Good e education, that is, which means approaching architecture as a study, architecture as research, architecture as urban planning, anthropology, new technologies and the possibilities of artificial intelligence, VR and so. In addition, it must, more, um, it must permeate and bring together culture and good taste. Seeing this as a dichotomy is the exception. Experience is the accumulation of experiences, but it is hardly transmissible, unless you turn it into theory. Theory without putting it into practice is speculation or reading. So they are both necessary parts of the equation, which are more or less in balance, depending on individual circumstances. I would ask the next generation of architects to enjoy their profession as much as they can. I will tell them to travel, to see what is out there in the world beyond their own confines, to be open to culture, to work with new technology, technologies and to see the future of architecture as an apprenticeship. Because the new world we are building requires all of us to travel on a highway of change.